Hello and good morning, y'all, and welcome to Home Snatch. So this game's about a town that's had a lot of disappearances in it, and we're going to be playing a character that's next in line to disappear here. So we're going to see how this all plays out. I will have it linked in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself. Without further ado, let's get into it. Home Snatch. The silence. A stifling silence has crept into our lives. A silence that followed the disappearance of our friends, our neighbors, our families. Taken from their homes without a trace. Fear has settled in. The fear of the unknown, of the invisible. Fear of being alone, facing the horror. There are those who refuse to be silenced. Those who refuse to give in to fear. Those who are ready to face the unknown. What about you? Will you be one of them? Will you be brave enough to solve the mystery of these disappearances? Will you be strong enough to survive the horror? Because the day has come. Now oh, it's your turn. Are you really ready? You will experience this truth. The truth that will chill you to the bone. The truth that will haunt you forever. I was not expecting this, like, really cool intro cutscene. I'm down with that. Let's go. Chapter 1, Home. Alright, so we're home here. And then we kind of just get dropped. After that cuts, we kind of get dropped into the typical kind of, like, itch horror, nothing looks quite right sort of area. Get some ketchup mustard, some wine, a little espresso machine, okay. That's supposed to be a toaster oven. We got our fro- is that frozen bolognese pizza? I'm down to try. That fridge is gonna open super weird, okay. Uh, what else we got going on? We got our Xbox here, little Xbox controller. Uh, updating in progress, okay, we're at like 75% story of my life. At least not a Windows update, what else we got? This, we got what is all that? If that's just lights, I guess. Okay, we got a little eyepiece. Ooh, that's a good place to get a scare, too. Ah, back. Okay. I couldn't back out from it, so I think maybe that locks you into kind of like a cutscene staring out. Hello. Yes, they're knocking there. Anything else here? Cork board. It's our bathroom? Okay. Interesting. Ooh, toilet paper is an almost acceptable uh, distance from the toilet. That's not bad. Okay. Sleeping. It's time to go to bed. I'm not going to check the door, I guess. I guess we're just going to go to sleep. Is that like the way to survive the game? Oh, hello. Do you just, like, survive by, like, not putting myself in danger? Strange noises. What the hell is going on? Okay. We'll get a little truck here. Oh, hello. What's that? There's just a guy standing there? It's not creepy. Can I use the ladder? No, because the, oh, the guy climbed up here and broke the window open. Oh, this is my living room. Oh. Oh, and he blocked my door. Flashlight, can I take this? What? A horror game has a flashlight uh, just kind of put out and you can't take it? Odd. That's different. I kill you. Oh god, hello. <laughs> Who's the butcher? Oh. Am I dead or is that like scripted? Guess I'm in the truck now. Alright, that was for you supposed to die there. Okay. We had like such a perfect little blood puddle too. I am still alive. 
I saw the main on the main menu. This game actually had achievements, which I don't think I've ever seen like in an itch horror game. Okay. Chapter two, Death Road. Not a terrible start yet. This isn't awful. I don't like how the mouse sometimes unlocks from the game. Open this? Okay. Do my captors... They literally just crashed? How did this happen? Accident or argument? One of them did not survive. I kind of heard some mumblings in the back. I don't know if that came across on video because it was like very quiet. Oh, crap. So we're going to go into the same store our capture just went into? Hey! You okay, bud? Hello? Winifred? Winifred, are you okay? God... Damn it, Petey. Right, I guess we're just going through then. What? Hey. Oh, of course, you gotta click the dog. <laughs> of course. Click the dog, you can't get hurt. Can we go inside this bathroom here? This is the bathroom. Help me. Okay, the danger's only been here for like 15 seconds. We already have people writing help me in blood and. Already got a beautiful blood trail to follow. Saving. Don't quit the game before saving is complete. Okay. Oh crap, he spawns right in front of you. It said don't back and hide. Alright. You bite. Caught like a rat. God damn it. No, 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 no. God damn it. You die. I die. Alright, so that one's not a scripted death then. That one you can actually avoid. Then? Alright, alright, so wake your. This is the checkpoint. Okay. Alright, so I gotta give you like a little wake up checkpoint sequence, that's not bad. Uh, what am I supposed to- oh. Open? Okay. So you do have to fall there. Okay. We're fine. Chapter 3 of the Forest. Huh. We're just zooming through these chapters. Okay. We got the Forbidden Forest. I'm assuming those are achievement alerts on the right side of the pop-up. I'm just assuming. Warning, someone comes, hide before it shows up. Hide where? Down here, maybe? Oh. Hello. Fine day. I like your Mickey Mouse belt. What is your name? Is your name Tom the Tamale Man? Well, looks like we are having a mighty fine picnic. But as you can see, death approaches, so I am just going to go and get away from death. Where? I don't know. Are you able to run into me from here? Maybe. That front door is blocked, but I see some graves. Do I get to bury myself? Who is she? What is this? Hello. Can I go? Okay, that was it. All right. Beautiful. Saving. Don't quit game. Okay. What do we got? 
Need a key, the door is locked. All right, so we got a generator. Oh, hello. We got a key. Got a light, I guess. This is, it kind of works. It doesn't really give off a lot of light, but it works. Ooh, you can be kind of precise like with where you aim. You're like, you gotta aim right at the handles there. Guess that's where we came from. Oh, hello. Open the sesame seed. All right, now we're in this house, I guess. This house thingy with beautiful artwork. We got a little rocking chair by the fireplace we could read there. And this is, yeah, this is the front of the house, which is an outlet here. And a light switch that's buried into the wall. Uh, we got, I lost my appetite unlocked. It's just, it's just a nice little baguette. And tuna and spam over here. We have blood or ketchup, probably ketchup lean up here. All right, excuse me, sorry for intruding. All right, you have a nice day now. Fine. I'll look at the head. I'll take the head. Insert head on body. Okay. Someone comes hide before it shows up. Oh my god. Oh my god. How dare you. I think I see what I gotta do. Okay. We're fine. We died, but we're fine. So we go here. Here. Door. Unlock. In head. I think it was the top floor. I think I saw like a little body when I got up to the top. Let me see. Yeah. Head. Now what? We take a look at uh, more tuna and pans. What does this say? Fallen. Oh, did I read this? No, it's just spines and occult stuff. Can I go through here? Yeah, okay. Chapter completed. To be continued. Oh, that was it? Alright. Achievements. Uh, apparently I got everything. I don't like how it still shows the lock icon here, because I got them. But we got all the achievements, apparently, so that was not quite what I expected. The AI seems really buggy, and the game's incredibly scripted. But I think we have... Like, overall, nice production value, kind of, like, surrounding things. Um, the actual kind of pacing story. I think the chapters finish up way too fast. And it feels like there's just too much of things happening between chapters that we're not playing or experiencing with, like, a cutscene or something. Um, but I think if we kind of, like, refine the environments, like, make that opening apartment look a little bit better and, like, more natural... We have, like, we can actually hear the argument in the truck. We don't have, like, a super janky dog we gotta click. We unbug the AI getting stuck on tables and stuff. Like, we kind of, like, work on some of that general jankiness here. Um, kind of, you don't gotta make it perfect, but just clean it up a little bit. Make it, you know, in line with, like, what I think the game's, like, trying to present itself as. I think we have something really good here. Uh, but right now, you know, it's just... It has the good outline, and it has a lot of the good production value to it. It just doesn't have the polish I think it really wants to have. And I think it can get there. I think I think with some work we can get there. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm hopeful. Uh, if this game keeps going to continue, gets updates, I'll gladly check it out again. Uh, but that was Home Snatch. So again, this will be linked in the description down below if you want to play it yourself. But that's going to do it for this video, so thank you all very much for watching. Y'all have a lovely day, and as always, toodles y'all.